The problem which I want to point out is that there are imams who have to perform religious activities other than performing imamat. They have to study, they have to go to different places and there are many such activities. If they stay among the people, you are well aware of the nature of the people. They are usually too talkative, they have issues just as they remember a disease after watching a doctor. Similarly, just as they see an Islamic scholar, a shara issue occurs to them and they ask him. So, people do like this. From 15 minutes to half an hour usually pass like this. He misses a study, he may have to go somewhere, he has a family too and he has to take rest too. He may have other types of works as well. If he makes habit of staying among the people after every salah, you are aware of the nature of the people. After Azr, he will have to stay till Maghrib and after Maghrib, he will have to stay there till Isha because he is liked by many people. Don't you think it will create a problem for him? Actually, they or everybody in the world has desire, generally, to be surrounded by a couple of people. Right. Yes. But actually, people don't usually dare to surround them when they look at their facial impression. They are not aware of the tact. They don't have patience with hearing something against their temperament. There are such people. Please elaborate the point. Which point you mean? That we are discussing. Imam Sab, this is the solution. He will say, Mister, being new to this field, how you can tell me? You would have read the book without understanding it. We have worked for years and years. We have served our elders and have studied so many books. Now he will have no answer and will surely turn against him. So be polite even if they are mistaken. It has happened to me as well. They gave to me also wrong solutions. I don't recall I ever rebuked someone. Even if someone gives a wrong solution, you listen to him. Then, advise him politely and with affection. Son, regarding what you said, let me take Bahari Shariat. As for the issue you talked about, one minute, you recite Durud, I will look for it. See this. Show it to that person. He himself will leave a message even to his generations that the scholar is knowledgeable this one. He will admit that the scholar did not rebuke him. Instead, he taught him the Sharai ruling with a smile on face. He will say, the scholar was less attentive to me before but now. He is more heedful and attentive to me. So you have to win hearts of the people around you and to make sure that you will secure their religion.